So this is the dresser we started with. It's actually a triple dresser that has nine drawers, three rows of three, but it looks like more like an apothecary table that has multiple small drawers. And that's why I bought it because I knew it would do well. This is a texture medium from Dixie Bell Paint Company. It's called Sea Spray. You can mix this with any paint to make it thicker and create texture on your piece. You mix it to a brownie-like consistency and then apply using whatever brush you'd like. I apply it using a stippling technique. Stippling is where you basically stab or kind of jab your paint product with your texture medium onto your piece that you're working on. This is used to create a raised area and texture by leaving soft peaks. I started by applying a thin coat in my base color all over the piece in a dry brushing sort of technique, not trying to get full coverage. You can use any color you'd like for this. I used Wise Owl Chalk Synthesis Paint and Owls Avenue. I ended up coming back and doing a second coat in this same technique to get a little more coverage. Next, I brought out my second color, which is still a nice neutral color, but a little bit darker than the first, and I used it to shade around the edges and corners of the panels. Next, you'll want to seal the whole piece using wax. I chose wax because I also wanted to use a dark wax before I was done to add a little bit of age and patina to the piece to give it the look that I was going for. By applying clear wax first, you have a little more control when you start using your dark wax so that you can add or take away as much as you'd like. I have an affiliate link for Dixie Bell Paint Company and I'll drop the link in the description in case you would like to try any of their products. I applied my clear wax using my two inch palm brush from Wise Owl. We are an authorized retailer for Wise Owl paint products and you can find any of those products on our website at rehabtofabdesigns.com. Using an old towel and Annie Sloan's dark wax, I used my finger in the towel to apply the dark wax just in the areas where I wanted it to show. This is a close up of the piece once I finished. As you can see, you can see lots of raised areas where we used our texture medium and you can see where we used the dark wax to highlight those areas to give it the look that we were going for. I do have available a complete start to finish tutorial that I recorded while finishing this look. It includes step-by-step -step instructions and video, both in real time and time lapse, to show you exactly how I did this look. If you're interested in purchasing, you can find the tutorial on our website at rehab2fabdesigns.com or you can find it on our Etsy shop listed under Rehab to Fab Designs. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure and give us a thumbs up and like the video and be sure and follow and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll know when we have new videos available and be the first to watch them. Thanks so much.